You're watching the late night news. Now the Indian squad that goes to the test series in Sri Lanka has been decided after a brief lay off over fitness issues. Yuvraj Singh is back in the Indian squad. He will be flying to Sri Lanka as part of the 16-member team that will play three tests in the island nation. Dravid Tendulkar and Vivius Lakshman have found their way back into the team. So has Suresh Raina after his heroics in the recently concluded Asia Cup. In the bowling department, Ishan Sharma and Sri Sant will be back to bolster the attack. Also, Rhythman Saha gets another chance ahead of Dinesh Karthik. The test series begins on the 18th of July. This reaction from Suresh Raina after becoming the first Indian to smash an international T20 ton said it all. The Super King. We had a fantastic discussion and everybody, it was everybody accepted to the team. We saw the team balance. I think, frankly speaking, in our opinion, the team balance is very good. We have correct kind of medium pacers who are good in test, for, test form of cricket. Don't forget there's a lot of difference between one day, 20, 20 and test. So you'll have to go like horses for courses. Like in test cricket, we've got the best combination right. We've got people like Ishan and Srishan coming back as far as test cricket is concerned. And as far as the middle order or the opening is concerned, we've got the right balance and the right backup cricketers also in the reserves. On to some badminton news, top seed and defending champion Saina Nehwal cruised into the finals of the Indonesia Super Series in Jakarta for the second year running with a convincing straight games win over Eriko Hirose of Japan. Scoreline of the match was 21-9 and 21-10. With this victory, Saina moved a step closer to clinching a hat-trick of titles after she ended up winning Indian Open Grand Prix followed by Singapore Open Super Series. She's also achieved a career-high ranking of number three with this progress. Time for all the action from FIFA 2010. World champion Uruguay have, uh, in fact, uh, uh, two-time world champion Uruguay have advanced to the quarterfinals of the FIFA World Cup at the expense of Asian Dark Horses South Korea. The inform AX striker, Luis Suarez, opened the score for Uruguay by slotting the goal past the hapless South Korean goalkeeper in the 8th minute. The South Koreans fought back by equalising in the 68th, only for Uruguay to immediately reclaim their lead 10 minutes later. Thanks to another wonderful goal by guess who? Well, Suarez again. Uruguay are likely to face either Ghana or United States in the quarterfinals. Well, Wadiwil and Vivek have marked themselves as leading comedians in Hollywood, but one man who is giving them a run for their money is Karunas. Karunas has now donned the lead role in his new flick and promises to offer a laugh right. Take a look. A villager travels to Chennai because he wants to be a millionaire. Sounds like a simple funny plot? Well, who better to play it than this simpleton? Karunas in his next movie, Amba Samudram Ambani. மேல <laughs> <laughs> Karunas not only turns hero in his next project, but also composes the music. In the recent past, many movies of big actors have bombed in the box office, and those of comedians have done well, like Vadivel's Imsai Arasan and Lawrence's Irumbakote. And Karuna's movie releasing first week of July seems to be a treat in store. In Chennai with Lalit Jood, Nithila, NDTV Hindu. Well, that's a wrap on this bulletin. Thank you for watching NDTV Hindu.